Assalamu alaikum. Hello everybody, how are you? This is our fifth lecture in literature review and hopefully it should be the last one in literature review. This one is mainly about how to write critically. Of course I will not be able to teach you how to write critically within one video. Uh, there is a lot of devoted courses for that, but I advise you if you are interested to know more about it, just read um, GMAT critical writing, how to write critically. But just I want to teach you three main things to write critically for your writing literature review. Three main things. The first thing, concepts. The second thing, structure. The third thing, the raw material. These concepts are my concepts in teaching Critical writing. The first one is concepts. I can't change your mind to think critically, but what I can give you guidance to enforce you thinking critically. How come? I advise you to use these concepts as much as you can in your writing. If you use these concepts, you will find yourself writing critically. What are these concepts? The first concept is contrasting concepts. These are very important concepts. Like what? Like although. When you say although, comma, or sentence, it means that you contrast two things. Look, this is story. Amgad is walking in the street. He is walking, 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 walking. Very boring. But Angad is walking, walking, walking. However, oh, stop. What's happened? What's happened? He fell down. Oh my god. So, walking, stopped by an event, something new happened. It's very interesting. So, what's next? The reader are very interested to know what's next. What does it mean? So, here, this follow stop, it means that you will give a conclusion or opinion. So, here, you are enforcing. To think critically. Once you start to use concepts like although, however, nevertheless, nonetheless, these concepts will enforce you to think critically. Look, although, for example, although, although, ERP, okay, although, ERP, is very common system and I have to say who said that okay I can give three four studies talk about that ERP ERP is an information system becomes very very and very common among organization in the UK okay although that the failure rate is very high the failure rate in implementing it is very high. Of course I don't love to use the word the concept but we can now just give you an example. And you say who said that? Look what's going on here. When you put this sentence beside each other people start to think it's very common failure are very high. Fantastic, interesting. So what does it mean? What, do, what does it mean? It's not boring sentence. It's very interesting sentence. You know, this sentence, you can think about it. You can have a research from it. You can have a lot of insightful ideas from it. So this kind of words enforce you to think critically. Once you use this word, think critically. Never, never write a paragraph about one study. It's bulgarism very very bad don't do that please never write a paragraph about one paper okay in each sentence you have to put two or three reference so look this sentence we have at least four or five reference in one sentence think about it i'll explain later how we produce this sentence because you cannot put all of that from your mind it's impossible your mind will be 
fall down to think about all of that in one sentence. So you need to have something like a raw material for producing such a sentence. But always think how to use, uh, always think about using although, however, nevertheless. These words will enforce you to contrast between ideas. Once you contrast between ideas, you will find out new ideas, new insightfuls, new insights, so give you more in depth. This is the first kind of concepts. The second kind of concept is supporting concepts. Supporting like what? Supporting like likewise, as we explained in the late, in the last lecture. Likewise is very nice word. Why? Because you take the same logic in one situation, you use it in another situation. As we said the last time, x affects y and y looks like z and x this is complicated thinking okay affects l so x affects y y looks like z so I believe that L affects Z. It's by likewise concept. Likewise in the same vein, okay? So supporting, it could be supporting like the same vein, the same view, the same logic, okay? Or you give more argument. So it's not only successful in that, but also it could do a lot of things. So if you wanted to build ideas, okay, like uh, building blocks, you can use 